use an SL12S size 2 hook, Yamakatsu, and as always hold it between the thumb and the index finger so that when you mount it in the vise you can actually put your middle finger underneath so that you can hold the hook horizontal to the table for when you lock it in place. All right. This fly is a very easy fly, um, only takes a couple of minutes to tie but what we're going to use is fine mono thread. I'm going to jam some thread on just behind the eye of the hook. Just a nice little bit of thread. We're going to rotate the hook upside down and what we're going to do is tie a belly on the fly because we're going to make a little minnow. For that we're going to use polar fibre. I'm going to take the polar fibre and pair it off the hide and then cut it as hard into the hide as possible. Right, so we've got our piece of uh, polar fibre that's been cut. What we're going to do is remove all the short lengths. And remember, your mother will shoot you if you throw it on the floor like that. So you've got your piece of polar fibre. Now what we're going to do is taper this to make a belly. So we're going to take all the long strands and we're going to remove those out of the out of the strip. It's still too long and we're going to remove the next lot out. Because the rule is if you tie anything on the front of the hook it cannot hang, hang past the bend of the hook more than the gape of the hook. So in other words it cannot go past the bend of the hook more than that point. So we're going to come in and make it go about this far. So we've got it all tied down. So we're going to measure it with the bobbin hand, come in with the vice hand and grip the material. And once again, like we've shown in the other videos, cut it just in front of your fingers and then simply lay it on your side of the hook. Make a loop. Can you see the loop there? When I come up and over the top. No, all right, you might need to get a, grip, a, a different view. Anyway, so what we're going to do is lay it directly on top of the hook. We're going to bring it up between the thumb and index finger, grip it, make a loose loop over the top, and pull it straight down on top of the hook, and then jam it with three wraps. Good? Yeah, yeah. All right, now we're going to rotate the fly back over again, and you'll see that we've got what looks like a little belt belly on a minnow. Alright, so if we put a straight top on top of there, you can picture that it's a minnow. Right, now we're going to take, we're going to put a lateral line on the, on the bait fish because all fish has a lateral line. So we're going to take three strands of crystal flash, three strands. Remember, always cut it right up in the hank there. You don't want any short pieces of crystal flash. You want them to be all long. Now what we're going to do is double that over as we've done before. Cut it. Wrap it around the thread. Now remember you don't need to tie with eye. All you need to do is do the hand movements. So take the bobbin to the top Take the bobbin across the top of the fly and the flash will go directly central on the fly. Then hold the flash back, tie it back with a couple of wraps and then cut the flash off slightly longer. All right. Come back to your polar fibre and once again take another hank of polar fibre. Another batch of polar fibre. We're going to take, remove all the fluff out of the out of the base of it because that just bulks it up too much. All right. Now we're looking at the length. What we want is the minnow to be about this long. Because remember the rule: you cannot extend past the bend of the hook more than the gape of the hook if it's tied on the front. This is going to go slightly longer than that, but it's going to be held by the eyes. So. Take all those long strands and you'll see that we've slowly got a fish shape. Alright, so measure it with your bobbin hand, come in with your vice hand, 
grip it, cut it just in front of your fingers once again. Yeah, you want to get a view on this, yeah? Once again, we're going to... Up between your thumb and index finger, loose loop of line over the top, pulls it directly down on top of the hook. All the materials together just so they all join together and give us our minnow shape. All right, now what we're going to do is create the nose on the fly. And then we're going to tie it off. Radio. So we've got our minnow. But we all know if it doesn't look pretty, we won't use it. So, it's got to look pretty. So what we'll do is take a permanent marker before we do anything else, and we'll actually bar the minnow, just to break up its profile a little bit. All right, so put a bit of red under there. And then we have our minnow. Now what we're going to do is add on some ice. Now, it's the eyes that actually hold the top tie in place. So pull it up and then slot your eye just behind the tie in point, like that. shape. Make sure it's square. Now what we're going to take is uh, clear cure goo, which is an epoxy, and what we're going to do is just get it drained up into the front. Now the secret with this is that you epoxy the thread and the eye up to this point. And it's that eye and the epoxy that comes back to here that holds that top tie in place. So let's just, and you don't have to be real, you know, uh, neat with all of this size. So just lay it all in place. These squeeze bottles are very good. You'll notice there's a few little dags there, but we'll uh, do something with it. What we're going to do is use a blue UV light. Just don't let this shine in your eyes, guys. Yeah. And there we have. Just wet your finger down, make everything stand down all the hairs and you'll see what we have, nice little minnow fly. Now we've hit it with the blue light, now what we have to do is wipe it with some alcohol. So the best thing is these alcohol swabs. Take the alcohol swab and just wipe the stickiness off the epoxy. Just put a little bit more on. So I hit it with the light again. Yeah, 
just uh, wipe off the, uh, the stickiness. And now once you've wiped it off with alcohol, now use Sally Hands' as hard as nails and just simply slap some hard as nails on there. And uh, Bob's your uncle. So there we have a Carl Richards glass minnow. Nice little fly. Tie heaps of them because you will need them for when the tail arrives. Done deal. I'm going to go fishing now.